Good morning, everyone. This is your reading for Saturday, September 21st, 2024, of course. Let's see, what do you guys need to know for today? What would be the most helpful for the day, for, for healing your soul, for moving forward if need be, or, or stopping and staying and smelling the roses, whatever it is. <laughs> what is it that you need to know? Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this. We have the star upright, one major arcana. Bam, the devil reversed, the only way I like getting him. <laughs> and then we also have the two of swords. Okay, what I just heard is to really, really celebrate all this work that you've done and don't, don't uh, close off to how much you've balanced out your soul substance. And I know that's not the, a normal meaning for the Two of Swords, but that's what I just got. So, okay, the star uh, <laughs> is our card for believing in ourselves. It's our card for uh, hope, but you have hope until you have real faith. You know, hope leads to faith. It's our card for everything positive. It's for renewal. It's for being inspired. It has to do with peace. Yeah, I love you know, the eight, the power of the eight stars and the eight pointed star, right? And then with the devil, so you can have faith in the fact that you have released your blind spots, you've healed your blind spots, you've left you you know the bondage and the addiction. You you are detached. You're or at least you're in the process of breaking free and reclaiming your own power. The chains are off. I mean, they never were padlocked on in the first place. Any, you know, you can always lift them off, get them off from around your neck. But when this guy comes to reverse, it's like, eh, goodbye. <laughs> and then with the, the Two of Swords, now this is our Moon and Libra card, so this has to do with balancing out uh, anything in the emotional body that has kept you, well, or the emotional, well, the, the mind can kind of have those constraints caught up in the emotions. It's just that we don't really know that when we're going through it. We may think certain things, we have certain beliefs, but we don't realize that those beliefs are really tied into, you know, a lot of emotional material. So, so the Two of Swords comes along and says, I don't deny, you're at a crossroads, and don't deny any feelings that come up, but also to celebrate. I got that in the beginning right away. You know, celebrate the fact that, celebrate for all the, the ways you have detached from being stuck, especially when it comes to, you know, power, empowerment issues. Really celebrate all those. Don't block yourself off from patting yourself on the back. And have more faith in yourself. Believe in yourself. And more will come through. But also, with the Two of Swords, we always want to, you know, it comes through upright. Uh, we always want to make sure that we're not missing out on some decisions that need to be made. So it's really, it's a card of facing our fears. It's a crossroads. Uh, we're needing to look within. That's why the blindfold is there. We're not, we're not meant to get our admiration or approval or external validation from outside of ourselves. And we're meant to make those decisions from deep within, deep within our hearts. And then you can also look at the, you know, just completely take away the meaning of the card. I mean, don't even think about the meaning of the card, but just go with the artwork and then wonder about the traditional meanings of the cards. And then it looks to me like antenna. You know, if you're, if you're <laughs> covered up in your eyes, you're going within, right? You're sitting firmly with your feet planted on the ground, and you it might appear that you're heart is closed off, but also how else would you be able to hold two heavy, you know, antenna 
and without falling over. You know, you'd have to be sitting up pretty tall and firm and strong. And the moon in Libra is all about balancing. So maybe it's, you know, picking up whatever you need, just trusting that you'll get whatever you need. Your antenna will pick up whatever you need, and that helps you to detach even more. Because this guy is bound in fear, and he wants a, he wants a fear party. You know, he wants to be in that realm of bringing in more, more fear. He lives and breathes with fear. And you, you know who we're talking about. I mean, maybe there's something going on here for, uh, maybe this is a little bit of a political reading under the undercurrent of that, because he thinks he's a star and he can do whatever he wants to women because, you know, apparently they let you do that when you're a star. But it, <laughs> we're all going, goodbye go away. We don't want you in a position of power. The jig's up and um, maybe more and more people are making the decision to uh, not deny and know that we are truly at a crossroads. So it could be something like that too, an underlying message there. But anyway, let me know how it goes for you today. And if you can make it, uh, join me on uh uh, the live stream at noon. I have uh, Lori with me because Lisa's on vacation again, a little bit of a vacation or spiritual retreat with Debbie over at um, Freebird Spirit. They're having a, a retreat. So, um, yeah, anyway, love to have you with us. Okay, that's it. Take care. Bye.